everyone. Gail here in Cornwall, Ontario. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Today I'm bringing you a very small Dollarama haul and a tiny little project share that I want to share with you guys. So I had to go into uh, the Dollarama. I had to pick up some more essentials to have at work because like I said uh, in another video, I couldn't get any um, of the wipes, the disinfectant wipes. So I thought, you know what? Somebody said, why don't you get a cleaning um, product I think that's what it is yeah and it's a disinfectant spray and put that on your cloth when you're wiping things down at your office and I thought that's a really good idea so uh, the only place that I could find it is at the Dollarama so again when you go into the Dollarama I had on my mask and the paper mat the paper mask that I've made and then I had on my gloves because you can't find masks here in Cornwall at all so and then um, I had my you know my um, what do you call that? Like Purell with me and away I went. So when you get there, you're greeted at the door and you're on, they're only letting so many people in at a time. So there's a monitor there whenever you come in. And when you get there, they have you wipe your hands. Whether you have gloves or not on, you have to wipe your hands with this Purell stuff. And then away you go and you have to follow the arrows on the floor. So that's what I did. Um, but again, I'm not used to walking with my head down. So I'm going down the wrong aisle. And one of the per people there said, hey, excuse me, you're going down the wrong aisle. But in a very a tone where they're frustrated and I'm sure that they're telling people this all day long but the whole the whole world is learning we're learning as we go and you know patients would be really really good at this time uh, you know we're all trying our best and I I'm a rule follower I follow the rules so I just said kindly said to him I said you know we are all learning I don't walk with my head down I'm gonna start though so I know what I'm where I should be going so anyway it all turned out okay and he said he's sorry just telling people all day long but it doesn't matter you should always try and be kind I don't understand that part as frustrated as my day gets sometimes and as many times as I tell people that we can only have one person in my office at a time over and over I don't get mad you know I just tell them the way it is and and be kind about it what are you going to do we all have to learn together for sure this is new to all of us so anyway, that's my little spiel, so let's move on. So I didn't pick up um, any food at the Dollarama. I just picked up some essentials, and then I browsed around, and I did find a few other things too. So I picked up this because I thought that's a great idea. It is the Clorox Cleanup Disinfectant Bleach Cleaner with 90, it kills 99.9% of bacteria and viruses. So I thought, well, this is good. We just have to be careful with our clothes. I thought about that too after. So you know what? This will be our last resort if we need to have it uh, to wipe down. You know, we wipe, we disin we close an hour early every night to disinfect the office uh, to start our day fresh every day. And then throughout the day, we're constantly disinfecting it. So, uh, you know, we can't find wipes anywhere. We've been, people have been bringing us in Purell because we can't find any and they have extra at home. So, you know, we do live in a very beautiful world and we are really showing our best side, I must say. So anyway, I got this for backup, so hopefully this will help for sure. I was happy to come across that and again, that was there was three left on the shelf, so I only took one. So, uh, you know, and then I needed some correctional tape for at work and I thought, you know what, we can't go in the stores here. Like, um, sorry, you can order and do a curbside pickup, but I wasn't going to call like Staples here in Cornwall and order just a few I just thought you know what I only needed a couple to get us through so I picked up there's two in a pack I seen Jen from clean living with Jen she showed this on her channel so I thought you know what I need this so this was two dollars for two of them it's just a correctional tape I got four all together so that'll do us till the end of my season for sure I came across this as well I love this and I'm going to try and embellish this uh, make an embellishment you know case out of this so this was three dollars and fifty cents and it's just storage boxes so you can you know it just looks like this and you can take each one off individually so I thought that was wonderful so I might make something out of this or perhaps take it all apart and use each one individually or just keep it like this or embellish it for sure so I got myself that and then I came across this for the dishes and it's just the scrub dots and you know, I enjoy having this filled with soap and sometimes I don't have enough dishes in my sink since it's just my husband and I to do a big, you know, sink full. So I just like to put my soap in here and then just use hot water and away I go. So I got myself that. And then I also came across this 18 uh, linen cardstock and it was $2 for 18 of them, but they're just really nice and stiff when you're making memory decks cards. So I got myself that and it's just like a variety of colors. I don't know if you can see that in there. There's a whole bunch of different colors, so I was happy to come across that. 
for my dogs. Um, these are the grilled and boneless uh, dog treats. They were $2.50. There's two ingredients in these. Um, I first heard of it again from my friend Clean Living with Jen. Um, and I picked my, so they're antibiotic free. There's only two ingredients in here. And in this one, the two ingredients are deboned chicken and oats. So that's it. So I was really happy about that. And my dogs really do love them. So I got that. I had picked this up before, uh, maybe a different flavor. And then I, I picked this one up for myself as well for my dog. So I was excited about that. Give them their treats because they love to have their treats. I got this because we cook a lot of salmon. And I thought this is going to be really good when I'm either putting it in the oven or just putting it on the grill on our barbecue. So there's three in here. I think this was $2.50 for three of them. There's three, three of these in there and with the bottom so I thought this was great so I picked up two because we do have a lot of salmon and I do cook with that often and they're big larger pieces like this so I thought you know barbecuing season is here so I thought that was great so before I show you my project share I, I think I mentioned that I'm going to be a grandma again, so that's pretty excited. So my son and his girlfriend are expecting a baby. We don't know exactly the dates or anything. She's more a little further along than what we thought. She had her first ultrasound, and they predicted that she's probably about maybe three and a half to four months pregnant. Uh, she hasn't really went back to see her doctor to get confirmation of that. It was just the tech telling her, you know, uh, so we're excited. So what I've done is we're going to probably redo our spare room. We already have a crib in there for Lincoln because he's still a baby. And then we have a bed in that room as well for Phoenix. But anyway, and I have some little decals on the wall. But what I did was I picked these up because I just thought, oh, they're adorable. So I'm going to see what which one my son and his girlfriend want for the little baby's room when they start to get it ready. And then I will take the opposite one so these are just the precious moment baby collection jumbo stickers oh I could not take it it's so adorable just looks like this look at that and this is what it looks like in there so boy or girl it doesn't matter we have little decals in here for a boy or a girl look at that so I was so excited look what it'll look like oh it's so I'm so excited I really really am uh, the, you know the more um, the more grandchildren that I have, the more I am so, my heart is so full. I love it. I really, really do. And then I picked this up. I might keep this for myself for the, for the spare room or give it to him, whichever one they decide they want out of the two if they want it. And I just thought it was adorable, but this would make a good gift for somebody as well. These were $4 actually. So these are the Winnie the Pooh jumbo stick ups. So this is what it looks like. There is 25 pieces in here, 25 plus pieces, and this one says 25 plus pieces in here too. But this is what you get at the back. Look at that, so Piglet and, e and Eeyore and Tigger and Winnie. Oh my God, so adorable. Looks like that in there. All these different decals. Oh, I just think it's adorable. So I was so excited when I came across this. Hopefully they'll like one or the other, whichever one they want. And if not, well, I'll be giving somebody a nice gift. <laughs> so anyway, that is it for today, guys. Oh, wait, I want to show you my project share. Now, this is just something that I tried. I was watching many, many videos on YouTube, and I thought, oh, I love how they do these little boxes up. So I tried it. So I just, I'll show you the front. I just did this on my box, like I just thought it was so cute. And this is the little gems that I picked up. And I put a little a little rhinestone in there so it kind of blings it up a little bit. And this comes from my friend Lisa from Lisa's Paradise. She sent me so many of these. They're so beautiful. So that's what I did. And these flowers come from Kathy, from Kathy's Favorite Things. See, I love that. I know that this comes from somebody, you know, good friends and fellow YouTubers. And then... I did the little dragonflies. My good friend uh, Janet from Janet K's channel sent me a beautiful uh, dragonfly punch. So I do little things with my punch and it turned out pretty good, I think. So inside, it's just like, you know, the ribbon all the way around. I just, or the trim, I guess that's what you call it. And then I did the top. And then this is what the inside looks like. And it just says, happy crafting. I put that, and again, that comes from my friend Lisa's Paradise. I just put a little bit of sticky in here. I thought it was really fitting inside. It looks so country, I find. And then some gems, some flowers with gems in them all the way around. And then a few here and here. 
and a little dragonfly right there. So yeah, and then I'm going to start filling it with all little things for myself. So I thought it, did, it didn't turn out half bad at all. I thought it turned out pretty good. So I just, I, I really enjoyed doing this. I really did. It's filled with love, you know. I love crafting because every time I craft something, and I'm sure all you crafters out there are the same, there's something about the love that goes into this, you know, the enjoyment, the love, the free spirit, the relaxation, all of that jazz, all mixed in together. So anyway, that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.